I'm with Mick Martell, one of Cricket Australia's national panel umpires. Mick, can you just tell us about your background that got you into umpiring? Yeah, well, I uh, really love the game, obviously. I think it's the greatest game in the world. Wanted to keep involved. When my playing time had finished, I thought to myself the next best place to be is out in the middle umpiring, so I gave it a shot. Where, where was your starting point? What was your, where did you come into the game? Well, I started playing junior cricket, obviously. Played a bit of district cricket. And then when I uh, finally gave it away, had a chat with Rick Evans. Rick Evans got me involved, went along and did the laws course, learned a bit more about umpiring. Thoroughly enjoyed it, so I thought I'd give it a um, go and see where I could get with it. Highlights so far? Where's it taken you to? Well, highlights, I mean, doing my very first first grade game in the WACA was fantastic. Um, I didn't think I'd even get to that level, never alone beyond. Um, things like going away umpiring cricket's always great. I was fortunate enough to umpire the best stadiums not only in Australia but around the world now on occasions, New Zealand, South Africa. Uh, but my favourite's still the Wacker. Love the Wacker, and it's uh, fortunately enough we cut our teeth at the Wacker, and you know we get to umpire here before we even make national level. So it's a fantastic um, atmosphere, fantastic opportunity to be part of the Wacker. What would you say to new umpires coming in? What, what advice could you give them? Look, I think it's just about being enthusiastic being patient because the rewards will come, it's just about being patient. But if you can show the enthusiasm, not only to the uh, organisation but to yourself, make sure that you uh, have a good go at it and make sure that you're always going to be ready for that first opportunity when it comes your way. Mine came early to do a first grade game early but I was ready for it and I was uh, took the bull by the horn so to speak. Friends you've met, people you've come across during the game? Oh, some of the best friends in the world have been through cricket. Um, Doing the umpiring's extended them, you know, to globally now. You know, I catch up with people all the time when I'm overseas. Around Australia, I've got some great friendships, but no more than uh, what I've got here at the Wacker, which has gone through from my playing time through my umpiring, and just met some really great people. But Mick, you mentioned about the uh, Big Bash final. Can you tell us some of the highlights from that game? Well, the actual whole day was a huge highlight. Um, it's not every day you get done by in front of you know, 20 odd thousand people crammed into the Wacker. Uh, fantastic atmosphere. Perth people really got behind the scorches this year. And it was just amazing to be out there. Loved every minute of it. Um, it uh, I've umpired at some you know, fairly full stadiums around Australia, but that night here at the Wacker, when Capacity House, fantastic atmosphere. There's the opportunity then for umpires who start out new umpires this year to eventually end up umpiring Big Bash. Well, I think so, because that's the way the game's going. You know, we're going 20, there's more 2020 cricket now being played, and I just think uh, it's one of those skill sets that uh, is going to develop over time. We'd love to see any new umpires come on board at the Wacker. Love to see new umpires come on board at the Wacker. How can a new umpire get themselves involved? Well, I think to get yourself involved, you just have to really have a dedication to the sport. Be part of, listen to what people tell you. Take the feedback on board and really try to improve as you progress. First thing to do, get in contact with you down at the WACA here through the website, even a phone call. I know you love talking to people on the phone. So just get involved and see where it can take you because it's taken me, some, taken me to some fantastic places. And uh, I really encourage anyone to get involved with it because it's uh, the best seat in the house, so to speak. Thanks, Mick. We look forward to seeing you out on the park during the season. Thanks, Thank Baz. You.